So I'll tell you about the electrical setup on the car. Uh, you can see the Flaming River uh, power switch lever coming out the back bumper. I'll turn the light on here and you can see that uh, there is a reflective uh, decal, uh, keep me legal, so push off uh, is the disconnect. So off and then on, pull away. So in the back of the car you can see the switch is uh, hard mounted to the chassis. Behind it is a sealed NHR legal battery box. This one is a Moroso. Inside is a Power Sports battery. Uh, I think it's an ETX 18L, pretty typical uh, Power Sports battery. So these two wires that run back down through the spare tire will actually come out and uh, link up to those two connection points. So if I want to throw on jumper cables or charge the battery with a trickle charger if you're over winter or whatever it is, I have access right uh, under the car, really easy to do. I don't have to pull the box off of the uh, battery box or open the trunk. So the way that it is uh, wired, I do have uh, a lead that comes directly from the alternator to the bottom side of the switch, which is the exact same connection point that the battery comes from. So you can see the battery runs through this 250 amp fuse, and this is straight to the battery here. The battery is grounded just right here, clear to spot, so it comes out of the battery box and then that's where the battery is directly grounded. The lines that feed to the battery down to those jump posts, uh, there's remote terminals, comes out on this side of the box uh, and then down through spare tire well. This line here is the output uh, of the switch that runs and feeds uh, the front of the car, which I'll go up there and show you that in just a moment. So this is what runs the length of the car uh, to power the starter and then reconnect with the factory battery terminal location. And then just a distribution block that also runs off of the uh, switched side. So uh, this is powering uh, the power line for the fuel system. Uh, but if there's any other power I would need back here, I do have a junction box. So just a note on all electrical uh, wiring that I do use, I do use welding wire. So double aught for uh, load carrying to the front of the car. Uh, just two gauge coming back from the alternator. Charging posts are also uh, two gauge, uh, but everything else is uh, double aught uh, with the exception of the four gauge uh, wiring for the fuel pump. For the battery box mounting, I do have it running through the flange part of the channel for the like frame. So it's not just through the thin sheet metal, uh, it is through the uh, flange part of uh, the frame. So the most secure location, which is what you have to do uh, with a 3 8 or larger bolt to meet NHR legal. Uh, and then there is the battery box uh, discharge in case something would uh, happen in the box. There is a safe place for vapors or anything to escape from the box. So factory, the alternator runs into the fuse box and powers it here. Um, so what I've done, I've disconnected it from here, pulled the lead over and run it into another inline fuse. This is another 250 amp fuse, um, which is between the alternator power and the battery. So this runs back to the battery uh, to keep it charged as the car is running. And then the heavy line that is the output of the switch comes up through here and I have battery terminals mounted uh, and I use the original factory battery leads to connect there so it's a, a more of a factory connection. Um, so you run this side just to the chassis ground that will feed all of the electronics up here in the fuse box uh, and keep everything going um, there.